Hello and welcome to the Peace Security Channel everybody. This is a quick little video. I've basically decided to test uh, three different security companies in terms of signatures. They are Kamado, MCSoft and Kaspersky. Now this is a purely signature test. It is not a prevention test. It does not take into account any zero day uh, capabilities of these companies. It's just a signature test to see how they compare with each other. So I've got 500 malware samples. They're quite fresh, about a day old, but uh, we're expecting really high detection rates because uh, they're all like traditional malware. They're not adware or PUPs, stuff like that. So let's just see how these companies do when it comes to serious uh, malware detection in terms of signatures. So for Komodo, we'll be using uh, Komodo Cleaning Essentials, and for MCSoft, it will be um, the Emergency Toolkit Kaspersky. We have the Internet Security installed, so let me show you that these malware are, you know, the same in all the three folders, and I'll also show you that there are 500 of them, you can see. So I've separated them into three different folders so that each folder has the same malware as the other ones. We'll be doing the test with the default settings, of course. Um, let me show you that they all have 500 files. I mean, this is just uh, crazy, but who knows? Somebody might come up and say, you didn't show us. Maybe you just misnumbered them. Never mind, let's get started. I showed you the first folder in the start, so I'm not going to show you again. So, here's Komodo Cleaning Essentials. It's on all default settings. I haven't changed anything. It's got, you can see it's the latest version. And it's got uh, heuristics set to low. And the uh, rest of the stuff, everything's in default. I haven't changed anything at all. So, I'll just um, add this folder. So, give me a second. We have added the folder and now of course I will not change anything. I'll just uh, enable select, uh, deselect all the other things and select this folder and just hit the scan button. I haven't got, I haven't messed with anything at all. So let's see how many it finds. I will show you the beginning of the scan and uh, some part towards the end of the scan so that um, you don't have any doubts like what if I just stop the scan in between? So, uh, anything like that. So I'll show you. I'll just go through with it. You can see it's 70 some percent. And it seems to be finding a lot of files, and that's expected because these are all, as I said, really dangerous malware. So uh, there's not much doubt regarding their detection, whether they are malware or not. So it's easy to pick them up. Let's see how many Komodo picks up. And this is important because um, anything that you miss uh, is potentially a really bad threat. Uh, I mean, in Komodo's case, they have different prevention methods, but today we'll be testing just the signatures. So these are not like adware that you can say, oh, maybe that's a clean file. I disagree with you. You cannot say that because these are all... Um, Trojans and backdoors and root kits and stuff like that. There is no uh, potentially unwanted program in here. So they're all like analyzed and they're all malware. So let's see what it's found. It's found a ton of these. So I'll hit clean on all of these. It doesn't really give me any other choice. So I have to hit clean. And that's quarantine. So I'll just hit the apply button and again I'll show you the beginning and the end. I'll have to pause in between though. And you can see it's still running. I haven't canceled it or anything. So we'll wait for this to fully complete. And then we'll just uh, find out the detection rate and write it down. 
So it's quite near the end. Komodo does have a pretty quick scan process. The removal process is a little bit on the slow side. It's not slow, it's in fact just right in the middle. The scan speeds are really fast though. So let's, um, yeah, it's done. So there's nothing else to do. I'll just hit the exit button. And I'm not going to do a rootkit scan because I'm not scanning the system. So I'll hit exit and let's see what we have left over. Okay, looks like we have some other files. These are files that it has disinfected or renamed, whatever it's done, I'm not sure. I'll remove these because quite clearly they seem to be um, something has been done to them. They're clearly not malware that can infect the system. So we'll just count the rest of these. I don't know why it's I can't terminate these guys. I mean delete because most probably Komodo might be using them. I don't know. So let's just count how many um, it hasn't uh, even touched. So we have quite some files here and we will just um, find out the detection rate. So we had 24 files so that gives us a 95.2 percent detection rate and you might be thinking wow that's a really good detection rate maybe not so as I said these are not the kind of malware that I test sometimes this, these are a little bit different so let's see how the other two engines come up oh damn anyway I'll write that again so now for the second part, I will test it again. I'll test these malware against uh, MCSoft. I have the emergency toolkit, and it's fully up to date. I'll show you that too. Now please don't say you didn't show us if Komodo's signatures were up to date. They always do the update before the scan, so you can't. If it's not up to date, you can't scan basically, unless you hit skip. So in MCSoft's case, there's no such thing, so I'll show you that it's fully up to date. I'll run the update I think they have got. I mean, they update so frequently, it's almost impossible to say that you have the latest updates. I think they update about 12 or 15 megs at least per day, and that's a lot of malware. 12, 15 megs, probably thousands and thousands. So again I'll add the folder and um, I'm not going to scan the memory or anything so you can see I've added the folder and uh, I'm going to leave everything the way it is I'm not going to mess with anything at all apart from removing the scan traces and all that because that's just going to scan different areas of the computer that's not scanning technique so, I mean, this is a really fast scan, even faster than Komodo's, and the removal process is quite almost the fastest I've seen. Just next to a fast, I think. So I'm going to delete all of these, and you can see how fast it is. I don't have to pause at all. And that's that. So, looks like it couldn't remove one file and I won't be surprised if I don't know why can't it remove it it's not like active in memory or anything like that it's just sitting down there go ahead delete it I can delete it why can't you that's um, kind of like stupid in my opinion there's no reason why this file cannot be removed it's not like it's running in memory not like it's terribly infected not like it's a system file nothing of that sort you can see I can delete it just like that so anyway I'll have to put MC self back here and um, looks like that was the only one file so that's a hundred percent detection rate if we if I give that file to them because it said it detected it but we'll calculate it both ways right now I'm just writing hundred percent towards the end I'll just calculate both counting that and not counting that doesn't make a big deal it's just one file so anyway I'll just 
can see that one file it couldn't remove itself but you can remove it so now it's Kaspersky's turn let's see how it compares I've turned it off of course otherwise it would not have let me scan with the two different engines so you can see I'll show you that this thing is up to date as well this is Internet Security 2013 you can check that it's the latest version and now I'll check for database updates and we'll make sure this guy is up to date as well some people they just compare detection rates across different videos I don't think that's fair at all because uh, the malware the kind of malware that I use that varies and um, you just can't compare that the detection rates of this video with let's say the detection rates of maybe videos five months back it's just not fair comparison so I think this will give you guys a better idea because somebody told me that Kaspersky got only 82 percent that's bad detection rate but that's not the that's not true because um, the malware I used was different that time and the other engines wouldn't have got these 95s and 98s if I was using that kind of malware so anyway this will give you a comparison oh damn I've set this folder to the exclusion so I'll have to remove that just give me a second and now I have um, removed it from exclusions and I'm scanning it you can see we're getting the beautiful Kaspersky alerts and um, the scans uh, in progress. Now Kaspersky isn't that great when it comes to scan speeds. It's not magnificent. It's not too slow, but uh, yeah, it's right in the middle, I guess. Not too fast, not too slow, so I'll have to pause anyway. And now we're near the end. Well, you can't really complain about the Kaspersky speed and don't compare it because it's scanning and removing at the same time. It's not just uh, like uh, scanning. And yeah, don't ask me. I've set it to delete objects if you didn't see it when I opened the interface. I've set it to delete all objects. So it's not going to disinfect anything. So don't tell me the files that were left. Boy, they were disinfected. Now that's not true. So we're almost there. Kaspersky really has one of the best, uh, you know, interfaces in all the AV companies. I mean, this is my favorite. I really love their greens and whites. It just looks really neat. It's not too flashy. It's not too dull. It's really nice. but that's not what we're testing we're testing signatures so let's see how it does in that case so it's still doing its job okay so the file scan completed and looks like it's uh, okay it says it's disabled I'll just re-enable it and uh, well what else yeah that's enough and we just have two files so that's a really good detection rate again that's calculated 500 minus 2 oh that's 498 why did I use the calculator so it's 99.6 percent So, you can see that Kaspersky and MCSoft are not that far apart. And if you don't count that one file, we'll see that too. Let's just put it down again. Um, but even if you give MCSoft 100, you can see Kaspersky is not that far behind. Um, the real gap is between Komodo and Kaspersky because Komodo missed 24 and Kaspersky missed just... Uh, I'm just calculating the if you don't give it the one file so that makes it 99.8 so really close to Kaspersky so Kaspersky does have really good signatures and uh, the only one who's uh, lagging behind in this video I mean in this test is Kamado and that's expected because uh, 
you know, Komodo doesn't have that good signatures. So 24, 2, and 0. These are the misses. So uh, it tells the story. And hope you guys really enjoyed this video. So don't go on your strange comparisons that you do across cross videos. I will be doing more videos like this. So stay tuned. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. I like it as much as you do.